Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So I got an unboxing video for you today. This is a knife I ordered off Amazon. It's a knife that I've always wanted to pick up. And I finally did. But I am a little concerned about this because I... Well, let's get it open and then I'll explain a little bit. But yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm getting. Um... It says one thing, and I saw in the reviews people were getting something different. Um, either way, it'll be okay with me. But, yeah, I really wanted the one particular steel. And this, the box is probably going to tell the story. So, yeah. This is the case carbon steel and it's um model 00616 i guess yellow synthetic smooth trapper actually the model's 3254 cs for carbon steel i actually wanted the chrome vanadium the cv not the Carbon steel, which I guess basically the same thing. Um, but yeah, so they covered up the date that it was made. And it was made 01 right there. So, it's made this year. Um, yeah, I really wanted a CV. I wanted the old school steel. But yeah, let's check this out. See what I got. Um, you know, Case. I heard bad things about Case. You know, it's hit or miss. And the quality. Um, I read the reviews on Amazon. Here's the Case Collector's Club pamphlet. Here's the product quality information. And yeah, I just tore it. Um, yeah, bunch of information, different languages. I know, I know that much. But yeah, box, carbon steel, which is okay. So I was kind of expecting it. But right here it says pocket knife. Why, or I guess yellow synthetic trapper. CV. So this came from Amazon, but it came from the case store. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But anyways, here's the. It's wrapped up in the wax paper. Let's zoom in. Here we go. See what kind of what quality this thing is. I'm, I haven't been this nervous to open up a knife in forever. Okay. So. Check this out. This side looks good. Nice and flush. No issues. Transition between the bolsters and the covers are excellent. I like the. Oh, I like this. That's why I wanted the CV steel. I wanted the. Old school case trapper, yellow synthetic candle, but yeah, this side's excellent. This side is excellent. Um, and the back, any gapping, gonna be hard to see on camera. Um, there's a little gap between the spring and the, the liner. Not bad, though. I can definitely just live with that. So that looks good. A um, little dirty on the inside, you know, in here. But yeah, case trapper. I got one case, and it's a trapper, and it's that purple, purple and gray G10 pilot test run knife. And I'm like, you know what? I like that. I carried it. And used a little, you know, very lightly. And I'm like, I'm going to get the 
synthetic yellow um, <clears throat> Duralin, is that what it's called? One in the CV, but this is carbon steel. Let's check the blades off, centering. They're off to the outside a little bit, both of them. Doesn't appear to be rubbing. Um, pull the pull the clip point blade out. Pretty nice. Not bad edge on it. That was another thing I saw in the reviews on Amazon, where they got knives that had no edge, none. Just they they were never even touched on a sharpener. Um, the bevel don't look too bad. This side. The bevel on this side actually looks better. It's off a little bit up here. Court doesn't have a real pointy tip. I guess oftentimes they do not. But sharpening or two, there'll be a tip on it. Um, yeah. So, no half stop. The the clip point blade is pretty good. I'd say the pole's probably six, six, six. Yeah, about six. Not too bad. Some Thor tie there. Um, really strong up here in the open position. Um, yeah, so that's good. Right there on the thing, it says Case XX. There's the dots. If I can show them, they should be 2023, whatever combination they are. Let's check the spade blade out. Um, the pull on that. Well, I'd say it was a little lighter than the clip point, but you can see the nail nick's way down here in the middle, and it's way out on the end, so leverage-wise, this is easier to open. But, yeah, that's not bad. That's, that's a little lighter up here in the open position. Um, boy, that's got a... I think that's got a better edge on it but yeah I apologize for the lighting and the reflection but yeah not too bad I like that does not seem bad so I did get the wrong steel from what I ordered and I don't I'm thinking they're not making or they're not using CV anymore. I went to the case website. They had <clears throat> the carbon steel and they had the stainless steel, the true sharp, and I did not see any of the CV listed. So I'm thinking they're doing away with the CV and changing it to their carbon steel, which I guess. From what I've researched is about equivalent to 1095 and yeah not not bad getting some good lighting you can see you know there's a little gap down along here and there's none on this side that's very that's minor to me it's not, it's not that bad. Yeah, I think I lucked out. I think I really lucked out taking a chance ordering this from Amazon instead of a dealer or directly from Case. But I got a pretty good deal. It was like 40 bucks, $40. A little more expensive, you know, at dealers and, and the Case site. Plus, you have shipping, free shipping on Amazon. 
Um, but yeah, I didn't really show the markings. I showed this side. It's got K sign there. Nothing on that side. And the spade blade. It has okay, USA 2554 and CS. Can you see the CS? CS for carbon steel. Otherwise, it should. I wanted the CV. It should say CV. But I guess if it says, if it's CV, it's chrome vanadium. CS is carbon steel. SS is stainless steel. And yeah, nice. I think, yeah, I like this. I think I got, I think I lucked out. Definitely. Um, my, it's only my second case knife. Um. Actually, it's Trapper. I'm trying to find, trying to find my, my other one. And yeah, these both are actually, this thing, this thing has low gapping in the same place. So, you know, that might be, that just might be a thing. Um, I have marred this up a little bit, carrying and using it. But this one's a pilot test run. Stainless steel. You can see on the blade it's pilot test run. And um what's this one say? So yeah, USA this is one zero two five four SS. So cool. Otherwise they're identical. This has G10, purple and gray G10. Excellent. Fit and finish on this is excellent. Centering on this one is dead center. Centering on this one, they're both towards the outside a little bit. Um, but, you know, like I said, 40 bucks is what I paid for it, 40-ish. And I... I bought this as a outright user knife. I'm going to use it. I'm going to carry it. I'm going to put it through the paces and save this one for like real fancy occasions or something. But yeah, I kind of wish I didn't carry this because I did scratch it up a little bit. But yeah, I guess that would do it. Just quick unboxing. Kind of, I was nervous. Of what I was going to get. And even though it says CV. It said CV on the listing. It's carbon steel. Which is okay. Um, but yeah. Check it out. I think it's. After carrying. After carrying this one. This Rough Rider. With a mother of pearl. And abalone and my scrimshaw one um i like i like the or the trapper pattern so i'm like yeah i'm getting another one and i got the old school looking yellow synthetic candle carbon steel although it's not cv but yeah guess i'll do it Little, something's a little loose. I don't know if you can hear that. Sounds like the covers. I don't know. Doesn't feel loose. Let's close it up and try it. Yeah. It's only when it's open. Interesting. Try this side. Nope, only the clip point side. Not really doing it now, but anyways.
like I was saying, that should do it for this video. You'll definitely see this knife again in future videos. Um, so, yeah, that, that kind of that tinny sound kind of bothers me. Doesn't do it with a shot. But yeah, be on the lookout for more videos on this. You'll be seeing us again. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe. And until next video, bye.